Now, the markets are mixed, and we have some economic data come out this morning. And new home sales, they hit their highest price ever. The median price now is 427000 and existing home sales actually fell. 5.4% year over year. And sales actually hit their lowest pace in 10 years. And we had earnings from a few big companies this morning, and some of it was brutal. Now, one of the bright spots was Coca-Cola. Their earnings were actually pretty good. And it's not due to North American sales. It's actually due to the company renting and cost. And this company raised their guidance. But if you dig into the numbers, it tells the real story of the U.S. consumer. And unit case volume sales actually decreased in North America. And we've seen this type of rhetoric from Coca-Cola, from Pepsi, and many other food companies in the U.S. in the past few quarters. Now, UPS, they reported their earnings this morning, and it was brutal. That company, that stock is actually down the most it's been in 15 years. And it's currently down 13.5%. We're talking about billions in market cap wiped away. And they missed on earnings. They also cut their guidance. And they've actually had to lower their prices, their shipping prices, in order to retain customers. And we're going to begin seeing a lot of that from a lot of these retailers, from a lot of customer service companies, you name it. They're going to have to bring prices down in order to retain customers to retain those orders because the pool of money is shrinking with the little guys on the street and the guys at the top they're getting all the money they're hoarding the money and right now that imbalance is not going to work and we also had comcast they reported their earnings this morning and they actually lost a half a million subscribers in this past quarter and they've been shedding customers for about three years now them and the rest of the cable companies and if you combine all those cable companies together more than ten thousand people a day are cutting the cord and it's simply because they can't afford it and on top of that, Comcast has announced that they're going to be hiking prices. So they're going to end up losing more subscribers. And that stock is down 2%. Now also reported from Bloomberg, the number of zombie companies across the planet continues to grow. And that number is at 7,000, 2,000 of them here in the U.S. And from my own observations, I'm seeing a ton of companies get delisted off the NASDAQ every day. And I tell you, if it continues, the NASDAQ is going to be a shell of itself. You're going to see half of the listings delisted in the next few years. And you're pretty much going to just have big names existing on this exchange. And you're going to continue to see many of these companies file for bankruptcy because the debt financing is drying up. And although the Fed is talking about cutting interest rates, it's not going to be enough and it's not going to be in enough time to save many of these companies. Simply put, a lot of the money is just drying up. It's being hoarded by the guys at the top. Now on the commodity front, Oil is down big. Oil is at $77 a barrel, under $80 a barrel. And this is good news for the U.S. consumer. You're going to be spending less money at the pump. Now, the rest of the commodities are pretty much flat or unchanged. And we have some more big-name companies releasing their earnings this afternoon. This quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.